Well, you may have seen someone get hypnotized to bark like a dog or cluck like a chicken, but it can also be for healing. Yeah, and so in spirit of World Hypnotism Day, News Machine's Chloe Sparks joining us live with a hypnotist. So, Chloe, what are some of the positive side effects of hypnosis? There are plenty of positive aspects that hypnosis can help put into your life. It can help reduce stress, it can help reduce anxiety, it can help you give up bad habits like smoking or drinking too much, things like that. And I am here with the local hypnotist, Miss Beverly Brown here, and she's going to just be telling us, how does this process work? How does this go? So when you come in to see a hypnotist, the first thing that we do is introduce you to what hyp hypnosis is in. Is. Hypnosis is like the experience of going from using a flood like to a laser beam. It causes all of your attention to be focused on one thing, one place, and instead of being unaware, you actually become more aware, more directed in your thoughts, and that relaxes your mind and your body so that your you can take those directions that you need instead of the direction coming from outside of you. They come from within you, which makes change an easier process. As we've talked throughout the morning, a big word that we've mentioned a lot is focus. It matters where you put your focus. And you brought, you have a prop with you. It's a kaleidoscope. It's and a kaleidoscope. Can you just explain to us how this serves as a symbol for how hypnosis works? So what happens when we are living our lives is things happen to us and we get all uh, frustrated with them. But when we look at the kaleidoscope, you can change the lighting just by changing the way the kaleidoscope turns. And hypnosis is a tool like that. With hypnosis, we can change how you perceive a problem, which then re changes how you behave toward the problem and changes how you think about the problem. So with hypnosis, we expand your resources and your ability to respond to what is happening in your world. It, it helps us to move stuckness. It helps us to expand repeated behaviors. It helps us to expand the way that we think so that we actually can have more solutions for the things that happen in our everyday life. One of the more interesting things I think that you've even said is that there you can dip into creativity just by doing hypnosis. Like right. musicians will use it or just to really hone in on what you're doing. Yes. But coming on later in the show, we will actually do a walkthrough demonstration with you guys and viewers can do it at home as well. So stick around for that. Back to you, Kelsey. All right, thanks, Chloe. We'll check in with you in just a little bit. Every year on January 